Bem-vindos ao Estádio da Luz. Eis o vosso novo treinador. Well, there you go, guys. Welcome to the Benfica career mode. And as you can see, we are starting this new career mode on FIFA 22 with Benfica. One of my favorite teams in real life. I was born in Portugal and this is the team that I support in real life. And let's get straight on the way with South America Continental Club. Now, if you haven't seen Benfica in real life, they have got a curse on them in Europe. And it is the Champions League curse. Unable to do anything in Europe and that's what this career mode will be all about. And that is trying to win the Champions League with Benfica. Now, before I forget, we have got some board objectives to look at. Youth development, of course, in Benfica will be critical. And as you can see, sign at least three players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than the overall rating of the team. That will be quite difficult to complete. Brand exposure, sign two players from Europe. That will be easy enough. And then other than that, another critical one is win the league title in Portugal and win the cup and reach the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Hopefully we can do all of that, but Champions League will, we, we will find hard. Let's go straight into selling some players. And as you can see, we've got a lot of offers for people here. I do not need to know this. But already we've got a swap deal here. Patson Daka for Rafa. It's quite interesting, but unrealistic, so we will accept that. As you can see here, Almeida has been sold, giving us an extra 7 mil to go and sign somebody. And talking about signing somebody, let's go and try our pull off our first signing of this career mode. Well, there you go. Renato Sanchez officially returns to Benfica on a 34 mil deal. Mate will be leaving to go to Lille. Si! Back to home country of France. And that leaves us with two more signings to try and pull off by the end of this transfer window in Malassia and Masrawi. Two fallbacks that I hope we can pull off. But straight away our team is looking better as we can fit Renato Sanchez right into this team. Joao Mario. Well, as you can see, three more sales. Binu has gone out on loan. Otamendi for 13 mil and Gabriel 8 mil, all leaving. And hopefully that means we can pull off another signing. So I'll see you guys when I've pulled off our second signing off this summer. Well, second signing done. Masrawi goes straight nice. into the right back position. And as you can see, we're close enough to completing our team here. We just need one more left back as a backup and then we've filled out our entire team ready for the season well if you haven't seen my Paris FC for 21 we didn't end up doing development plans for anybody and that meant growth wasn't a thing however for this career mode we will be and as you can see basically filled out all the development plans for the important players in our team so let's just get straight on the way and get some sales and signings done before we head into our first game of Another signing completed, Malassia joins us as a backup left back. All these signings done, we head into our first press conference before the game against Mori Ainsley. Turn. Yes, he has got something to prove. Now, let's see any changes to the team, I don't think so. Let's just go in with our best team for this first game against Mori Ainsley. And I'll see you guys when we enter the game. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And you can really sense the anticipation on the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Morirense up against Benfica. Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long wait, but hopefully we get a great game to kick their campaigns off. Well, new commentators, new FIFA, and everything seems new, but will Benfica return as title winners this season? We shall see, and let's just see. It's a new, it's a new camera angle. I might need to change this. Hold on. Good chance here for Nunes to show what he's made of. PZ all the way down. And now I'll be bound. Oh, that is absolutely 
Harry Barnes! Get in! What a beautiful goal that's contender for well, goal of the season. He holds off the Already. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a wow. good goal. That is beautiful and already Benfica just playing around beautifully. That had just gone through the legs of him. Okay, we'll take it. Oh, good a good good chance now. In the box. It's Goli Goli. You cannot stop the side. He's got the point. Okay, he's, he's very bold. Yeah, he's not. And Everton's got a chance. Are you sure about that? Half time and it's still no it's still one one. And sadly we can't find the winner that even though Everton's got a chance right at the end. Everyone's done oh, now. Shit. Making good in rows. Corner kick. Over in comes. Good corner. Three small. And that is an absolutely beautiful header. From who though is the question? From Vertonghen. It seems like the fixed head is in FIFA 22 because that was amazing. Look at this. It's just a standing header. Beautiful finish and we're 2-1 up. From the most unlikely goal scorer. In the middle. And Sar Ramsch finds space. Puts in. It's absolutely fantastic. There's a counter attack now, and it's Rafa who's thrown goal. Surely. And he does score. I don't think you have any Rafa idea Silver how fast I really am. Goal in an I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> With so much energy still left. Maybe get one more. Crosses it in. And Everton won't be able to get there. It looks like it will be full time. The referee blows the whistle. And that'll be it for this episode, that, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And good start to Benfica career mode. We'll see you guys later.